this Tip Tuesday, we're going to talk about vacuum cleaners. I'm Megan with Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum, and one of the things that gets neglected the most on your vacuum cleaner is going to be your brush roll. And I am definitely guilty of that as well. So one of the biggest tips that we can give you to help your vacuum last a lot longer for yourself is to clean the brush roll. Now I'm cheating a little bit. In front of me here, I've got my personal brush roller, or my personal power head on my Mila, and then I have a brand new Sibo Felix power head. So you can kind of see the difference between the two. But let's talk. On the brand new Sibo Felix, you can see that brush roller is clean, doesn't have any debris or anything. It's because she's been turned on for about 30 seconds so far. So that's nice. It looks beautiful. We want to keep it that way. On my power head though, I want to remind you, I've got three cats, three dogs, a toddler, a husband, me, and most of us have very long hair. <laughs> on the bottom of my brush roller, it's not the worst it could be, but that's because I try to be careful about it. So you can see I've got a whole bunch of hair and debris and stuff down there. And of course, with where I work, I've got threads all over it too. So a tip that is going to be very useful for your vacuum cleaner is to get a seam ripper that you're not in love with and you can use the seam ripper to get that hair off. So I can just, on this guy, I've got that nice little divot right there. I can drag this on and just cut those threads off. And my hair and all of this. There we go. So now all I have to do is kind of roll around and get all those hairs off. And my brush roller is looking a lot better. However, I will say on a vacuum like a SIBO, even if it's not brand new, it's very easy to do that. On a SIBO vacuum cleaner, all I have to do, pinch that, take this off, and then just run my seam ripper across it. So it makes it a little bit easier when you do have a vacuum cleaner, you can remove the brush roller on. On a Mila, not so much. On a SIBO, absolutely. So for this week's Tip Tuesday, I recommend you go wander over your vacuum and get all of that hair and debris off and try and make a habit of doing that every at least once or twice a month, probably more frequent to the twice a month at least. So I hope this Tip Tuesday helps you and I hope it helps your vacuum run a lot better for you. And I want you to have a great rest of your week. Thank you so much for joining me.